Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. Please share and also you can leave a comment. And uh, my name is Philip Amrefu from K2 Africa. Today I want to share about air pollution. How polluted is our air? This is a global issue. It's not a problem to you, it's not a problem in your city, it's not a problem in your own country, but it's a global issue. It is affecting everyone. It does not affect you as a human being, but it affects all living things, the insects, animals, the, even the trees of which we depend on some of it for our vegetables. So it is a global crisis in general. So we need to know the pollution, everything about air pollution, the smog, okay, the soot, don't forget about the greenhouse gases that actually are emitted. If you are living in cities, you see in industrial areas where they produce some uh, chemicals and also some of this soot comes from a heavy, uh, heavy cloud of soot and smog come out of those, those chimneys. They actually pollute our air. They pollute the air we breathe in. Now, if this is the case, people have also their own suggestions on how to take care of themselves. But what causes the air pollution? <clears throat> One person called John Walke, who is the director of the Clean Air Project, says that uh, most air pollution comes from energy use and production. Energy use and production. So what are we referring to? He continues and say that burning of fossil, burning of fuels, release gases and chemicals into the air. And this is the same thing if you look around, if you look in the areas where there is a lot of production, especially in the industrial areas, you can see a lot of smoke coming out, which is a bad product of the burning fossil and the chemicals coming, uh, which are actually being uh, burnt in those industrial areas in production of some other uh, byproducts. So now, if that is the uh, scenario in all the cities, in all these uh, uh, countries, and also in our own home area, then what are the effects? What do you think could be the effect of this air pollution into ourselves? We have some people who have been looking into consideration about improving these conditions to a higher level, especially in the US. They say that over the past 40 years plus, the changes over the years, there has been a lot of improve, improvement when it comes to air pollution. But again, when you look at uh, Mr. Key Norton, he says that these claims, they are not actually up standard. They are not actually uh, giving it to 100% improvement to the people around those areas because he says that climate change will make it even harder in the future. So again, which uh, this, this, uh, this man, uh, Newton, Kim Newton says that this actually will make it even harder. So it's not a really solution at the moment. Then, how can we protect ourselves from this scenario, from the problem of air pollution? How can you and me protect ourselves? We have many suggestions. Others have come up with suggestions that when you hear from the news, when you read from the newspapers and also hear from the news broadcast that uh, the weather change is actually becoming bad due to the air pollution, it is high time you need to restrict and prohibit your kids from going out to games. And others they even suggest that if you are doing some exercise, please do not go into a heavily trafficked roads because of the burning combustion coming out of the engines, which again pollute the environment. Others, they recommend that we wear screens. Why? We wear screens when ultraviolet radiation comes, then we wear screens to protect ourselves. And others, again, they say that though 
uh, especially because of the ozone layer. The ozone layer comes down especially in the morning. Well, when the ozone layer is actually down, it can also cause a skin damage. Skin damage that can cause skin cancer. So all these areas we are affected. This is an aftermath of the air pollution, which is a, as a result of industries producing some products in uh, their areas of production. But uh, if this is how people suggest on how to protect themselves, what do we have here at Cape to Africa to make sure that we protect ourselves against this air pollution? Let me talk about our very wonderful product called Wanda. Spec. Wonder spec can actually protect yourself. It can protect you because it has what we call negative ions. The negative ions will dissolve the positive ions surrounding you, yourself because of uh, due to the polluted air that we, we are living around it. And the negative ions will give you energy and protect you as well. Because once this product touches your skin, when it comes in contact with your body, it actually forms a magnetic field, invisible, that will prohibit or will actually create a barrier not to get the radiation direct into your system. Because what works is the frame. The frame has the negative ions, so the moment it touches you, whether you wear it direct on your eyes, or you put it just above your head, or even you put it in your pocket, make sure that it touches your body, you are actually creating a barrier with the negative ions which cannot allow any radiation penetration to your system, to your body. So you are protecting yourself because the air surrounding you is polluted. That is one of the products that we recommend and everybody can use it whether you have eyesight conditions or not. It will, it will protect you greatly. Now, another product that I would request one to use, I would recommend one to use, is the alfalfa concentrated profit. Remember, when you breathe in the air which is polluted, it helps also damages your body because the air you breathe in will also be a lot of chemicals and pollutants. Then it actually uh, ending up ruining your body organs. But you need the alfalfa to cleanse and to activate your body organs. This alfalfa has three functions in your system. First and foremost, it cleanses the digestive system, the respiratory system, the urinal system, and it activates the body organs as well. Then it balances the pH level, which means it gives your body 80% alkaline and 20% acidity by drinking the alfalfa. Then third, it also nourishes your body blood cells. The red blood cells are nourished in a sense that they can be able to multiply and regenerate. So if the blood organs has actually deteriorates due to the pollution that you have been used, you have been taking in air that is polluted, the alfalfa will cleanse and activate that blood organ. This product can be taken by anybody in the kids as young as six months old, they can be able to drink the alfalfa concentrated coffee. Please, if you have any conditions regarding your health, KTU Africa is here for you. We need to, uh, at least to make sure that our body health, our health is very high, uh, in a high standard, so that we can actually have, uh, uh, enjoy our lives and also to protect the young ones that you are looking at us. So please, KTU Africa, we are here and we are ready to help anyone out there. If you are living in Nairobi, we are located in the city center. Along Imoy Avenue in a building called Sonalax House and it, we are located at the ninth floor. If you are not in Nairobi, we have centers all over the country, okay? You can actually reach us and then we can be able to direct you to the nearest uh, dealer that or the distributor that you can be able to get your products there. Thank you very much. This has been your presenter, Mr. Philip Murefu. See you there. Bye-bye and take care.